We are filming this in the rain on our acoustic sailing tour. We're in Cuddyhunk today, uh, but this is a carbon fiber instrument, so no worries. And I'm just going to play on the, uh, the regular guitar part of this because I wanted to show you something that might be fun, a fun way to take your noodling and turn it into, uh, I know that Seagull is noodling just as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, but uh, we'll see if we can turn that into uh, something that can help you to compose something uh, perhaps in the future. So I'm going to just take uh, some G chords, C chord, and D chords up and down the neck and just harmonize a scale. So I'll just lead with a scale going down, just down my first string. And so the only thing I need to know is, is that scale and uh, the, all the C, G, and D chords. So I'm just going to find one of those three chords that contains that note of the scale and just go from there, just find a tempo. So let's try it in three. I'll play it through and then kind of talk through my thinking process on that. All right, so we'll take a little three, four time about that. to know about this, but if you haven't worked through all um, your positions for C, G, and D chords, uh, you can find it uh, very easily, actually. I put a little book together about that called All Chords in All Positions, one of those skinny books that fits in your guitar case. But you don't really need the book, it just puts all the information in, in one place. You can just do it with a paper and pencil and write out uh, your scales and then circle one, three, and five of the scale, and presto, you've got your major chord, uh, any chord you want to make. And you'll find all sorts of uh, cool little consistencies as you're doing that. And um, in fact, if you're you know interested in that, I can talk through that more later on. Just just send me a, a text, and I'll do another email, another video for you. I do the same kind of thing on my True Fire channel. So if you uh, subscribe to that. You can just ask about it and I'll post another video and uh, kind of a cool way to keep moving ahead uh, on, on your instrument. Well, when I'm doing that, so I'm just finding that I may play it a little differently each time, but I'm I was starting with a G and there, there's my D. So that's, uh, I'm up there on the 12th fret, so it looks just like first position there. And then it's, it's, that just slides down uh, two frets to make, that's part of my C chord. And then uh, this note contains either the D chord here, comes out of this, or, or the G chord. And so I can do either one or back and forth to them. Then the D slides down two frets to make a C. Now I've got this little D shape, which is now in this position, it turns into a G chord. And then my next note fits easily into this D, which you've probably made before with a, because you get the nice open D in the bass if you want it. And then slide down to a C again, turns into a G chord. Now it starts getting more familiar, right? D, C, and then we want something with this D in it. We could do a D or so maybe slide up to this part of a G chord and then C G part of a D chord G D C you've probably done all of this C that brings us brings us there and 
if I want to do it in uh, you know four four time, that works great. Five four, I love five four. Five four is a great time signature. Uh, I can I can do it again in five later on if you want me to. Um, six eight is, is also wonderful. Fantasia de Fuego is that one that's in six eight time. Bed. So a wonderful, uh, wonderful feel on those six as well. Seven eight. All those kind of Macedonian tunes are in seven, and uh, that's a real great dance tempo. So um, here again, uh, I'll pop in another video if you're interested. Let me know, and and I can do the same thing in five and seven if you want. Uh, but I want you to play with that a little bit. Let me know what you think, and I can give you private lessons easily on a couple different formats. I'll try to leave a, a link for that, and uh, but I leave all of my links on my MurielAnderson.com/now page. So. So catch that, and I'd like to see you know what you do with that. It would be great fun to to see your creations. All right, catch you next time. I'm going to get in out of this rain.